Thank you for tuning in to Go New Extreme. I'm Maddie Sattler, sitting down with junior forward Kendall Coyne. We're getting ready for the bean pot. So, first of all, can you just explain the bean pot in your own words and what it is? Yeah, my uh, thought about the bean pot kind of has tr transitioned throughout my time here at Northeastern. Obviously, um, coming from the Midwest, you don't really know what the bean pot is, and you just hear a lot of the Massachusetts kids talking about the bean pot. And then after you play in your first time, then your second time, like you're hungry to win the bean pot. So, do you have a favorite bean pot memory? Um, obviously, the first, like the fir my freshman year, the first one is, was overtime winner, and that was pretty cool. Um, but anytime you get to win is pretty special. You've won two bean pots. What's going to be the key for you guys this year to take home another bean pot title? Well, obviously, you take it game by game. We're opening up against the number one team in the country, and that's not an easy task. And we recently played them, so we got to kind of put behind what the, the scores were a couple weeks ago and um, you know, know, know that something's at stake and something's on the line and um, play with that, fear, like, that fierce. There's a lot of hype around the bean pot, and you're a captain of this team. So what do you say to your girls and your team just to kind of make sure they calm down and treat it like it is a regular game? Yeah, I mean, you obviously want to treat it like it's a regular game because it can help you in the standings and pairwise and league play and all that. But um, at the end of the day, you have to remember that there is there is a trophy at the end, at the end of the line, and it's not we're one of four teams that have the opportunity to play for this like this tournament. And that's that's pretty special. And you know, you hear all the other hockey teams like, oh, I wish I could play for the Bean Pot. And so you just really begin to appreciate it, and not these two weeks go by quick, and just to enjoy the moment. So you're playing at Harvard. Do you have any a message or something for fans that are thinking about making the trek out there? Yeah, I think the the growth of the game has been tremendous in the past few years, and um, it's four rival teams that, with a trophy at stake. Everyone's going to bring their best, and um, it's just great hockey. And um, obviously, players love the support from the fans, and it helps grow the game. If there's a little girl that sees us play and wants to start playing hockey, it's pretty it's pretty cool. So the four teams that are in the bean pot very strong teams each one at least has an Olympian so you know can you just talk a little bit about that yeah I think it's it's a great it's great competition obviously BC and Harvard have a couple of my teammates from last year and BU has probably one of the best players in the world arguably and I think that's obviously a reason for people to come out and watch and the competition is just great all three of the other teams are ranked in the top 10 so um, it's definitely something to strive for and we look forward to playing everybody have you spoken with any of your teammates from last year about the bean pot? Not, not, not right now. Um, you know, we're friends, and then on the ice we're enemies, but then we get off the ice and we're friends again. So, uh, not really. I'm um, sure we'll be yapping at each other when, when it comes time. But um, obviously, we're all extremely competitive and want it. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back after the first round of the bean pot for behind-the-scenes coverage. For going you extreme, I'm Maddie Sattler.